the lesson I learned is uh, I think in many case I'm not designing the space only. Uh, also, I'm, uh, I'm monitoring the time. It's a, to me, it's a time based design. So, actually, a lot of things are achieved through like programming. Right? The home could mutate for a different purpose at a different time. Yeah? So, well, somebody said it's easy because I'm just one person living there. So, if you have one person only in this apartment, so I totally tell them what I want at different times. So, I, I don't have a traditional sense of a home like many compartments but uh, like every time I use one single space which occupy almost the entire space no matter what I do. So I almost have like a spa in some extreme case the whole apartment becomes a spa. Yeah. Shower there, bathroom everywhere instead of a bathroom. And then it just happened that my bath my spa or bathroom have a kitchen inside. <laughs> and then, and then but you, if you think about organization this way is you have to do a new frontier, a new idea what a habitation could be yeah. Uh, and also this different from the the idea of loft also. Loft usually the sense is that you simply put everything there. But my idea is that you are I'm, I'm maximizing the use of time. So letting the space uh, uh, change according to different needs. Instead of me moving from one place to another, yeah, I never move actually. I'm always in the middle of the pump. <laughs>
no matter it's big or small. But then of course, uh, one of our major is still focusing into micro spaces, yeah. uh, be it a product or a uh, home. And what I really enjoy a lot now is the steam. There is a lot, a lot of inquiry outside Hong Kong, in and mostly, it's funny enough, is strange enough, is New York and India, and it seems a big demand for uh, come back home. And I'm um, more than willing to explore the idea in elsewhere. Because this is my argument in my title. It's a global phenomenon. You know. We are sharing the same uh, context. <laughs> yeah. And in this respect, it seems uh, people from Asia have a, a bit long history of uh, experience uh, living in Thai space. Yeah. And then it seems now everybody has the same issue. From the angle of, I don't mean it's the eco, eco design, but somehow we touch on that uh, by simply reduction. Yeah? Now, how big you need the volume at different times. Yeah? And this is a very relevant example of uh, flexibility in the sense of, of blurring the boundary of uh, public private or, or simply a, a device that they're able to adapt for change. I, that the idea of change is not when the change arrives, it's also, it's actually, I mean, what I mean, the change is the the essential transformation you may require every day that your design will be able to cope with that rather than when the change arrives and you start to think about what to do yeah. it's sort of like a refurbishment or renovation maybe you can corporate design it in the first step